All right, you gotta check these things out. They're awesome. Get yourself one of these controllers. From Jing Chong. Hook it up. Make your poles that, like that. So you got red on the right. So red would be the top pole right there. Black would be the middle one, and white would be the first pole. So it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I like how it's colored. Black, white. Red, black, white. So it's going white, black, red, actually. Be more specific if you're looking at it. And these things are pretty cool. Let's put it right here. Yeah, turn this thing on. However they turn on. And look for a little dot to go green over there. This is a little Milwaukee inverter. 18 volt battery running that puppy. That's kind of cool. Wired into there. And you can turn this thing on. And I actually have all the specs to program the controller. Right there. I turned my loop off. This is the last correction I had to make. I got three pulls, so I set it on three. My amp's only set to two, by the way. On C. A is RPMs, and this time's ten, so. Yeah, right now I got it set to a thousand, I think. I'm turn it on. And I got it working with this, and I did wire one of these up, but. I'm just gonna leave that where it's at so it seems to be happy without running off this thing. Look how slow it goes now. That's enough to run some stuff right there. The battery is fully charged. And check this out. I got that secured on there very, very, very good, but she's a thousand RPMs or more, I would say, right now. <laughs> These electric motors are badass. All right, that's scary. It's going pretty fast. Yeah. You can get however many RPMs you need, though, off this thing. Shaking my table. I don't know the limit on this yet either, so it's kind of cool. And I don't want to really break it because I think it'll run everything I need to run right now. It's at 80, 90, 100, One day we'll do a crazy test. Maybe. <laughs> That's so cool.
We'll run at 100. I can turn on and go back down, maybe. I can, yeah. I don't know if I could stop it there. I bet yeah, I could stop it. It doesn't seem easier to stop it now. Lower voltage. But, but I'd show that off. Alright, guys. I'll put together a video in detail, but to get to the heart of it, you need one of these controllers. And you need to set it up like this. And then you need to wire this thing the right way, of course. Star pattern. This, I'm only getting an, a one and a half volts off of this lead and this lead, or that lead and that lead, or that lead and this lead, or this lead and this lead. I'm getting it like several times, but it's only one and a half, and I'm cranking that fast. So I'm not really getting a whole lot out of that. So if you had like a wind generator head or something, but yeah, they people use these for their that'll run your lawnmower, that'll run your boat motor, that'll run whatever. On 18 volts. What I have here is a motor from a wash machine. I'll turn it off. Now there's three coils. One, two, three. And you can see it by the colors. Now what happens is it's three coils, but it's hooked up 12 times. So this coil is hooked up 12 times all the way around. It skips four. So this coil and this coil is in sync. Because they're the same color. Same thing with this coil and the same thing with this coil. Three times and it's hooked up 12 all the way around in a star pattern. Like this. All I did was I took one of these wires, it's like house wire, I think it's 14 gauge, and I clipped a little chunk out 12 times to hook these coils up. And then I did it on another wire 12 times for another set of coils, and then another wire in the back, can't really see it, well yeah you can right there, another wire in the back for this coil. If you can see it, actually it's this coil right here. It goes all the way in the back. This one goes on the middle one. This one goes on the end one. It was like black, white, red. That's how that shoots off. 12 times all the way around. If you look, see how it's hooked up. It's actually just wound together at the end here. So the power will go in. The power is kind of like water. It goes in, it shoots everywhere at once, at all 12 coils. And it skips to this one, it does all 12 coils. And it shoots to this one, does all 12 coils. I think, if you do it that way, it takes less power to run it. The way these come from the factory is they're in sync. They're in like a delta configuration. So they go around a coil, skip a bunch go around a coil, they skip two, go around a coil, skip two, but the power has to run all the way around the motor and then shoot back out. This way it shoots in and then it goes boom, like a star pattern. Boom, 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 three times. Anyways, that's how it's wired. Pretty affordable, pretty cheap. I'm not even a solder guy. I could sweat pipes, but, but I did drip solder on all those. And then it's the left side of the coil that's sticking out, and the right side, because when you cut it, it'll look something like this. And the fire the motor like this, it helps to mark it. 
And I cut them in the middle like that too. So basically you got a coil between two wires. You take one of the wires and you go this way and one of the wires and you go that way. And then all the wires that I turned to the outside, I wrapped them up while well, I wrapped them in series together. You know, one, two, three coils. Well, these three coils got grounded together. These three coils got grounded together on the back side. You'll see in the other videos. You'll see when I'm doing my ohms test, you have to sand the wires too, because if you do not, these wires have a coating on them. And that got me. But anyways, I know what you might be thinking too after hearing that. And if you are a three-wire kind of guy, then that's what this really is. So warhead you can defuse it, right? Are you kidding me? Look at this crap. Look a million wires in here. Look at three wires. Okay, I just set my amps. Hit that button, set your amps. Hit enter. Go to the next one. Look this up. And let's let's just set that to two. Enter. Go up and turn torque off. off. Two seconds on the, on the start. Hall. I'm just going to say on. I did just take the hall sensors out too, though. I removed them because it was working, so I don't even think... I mean, apparently if you do hook up these hall sensors, there might be something there, but it's just less confusing. So H is... We're just going to say on, though. The controller's weird. I'm going to turn the loop off. See what happens this time. Poles. Square wave on. Because it says on. Uh, number of poles. I'm just going to write three. Alright. That's all of them. I don't want to go up and reset it, so I'm going to hit escape. Let's try to set the thing out. Yeah, it's working. It's working like it was, too. So if you set the controller up like I just showed you, Don't blow up and kill me. I don't know. Where did they go? This thing's going like a bat out of hell. Ow! Ow! Damn, that hurt. Well, that's a lot of power, man. Ow! I love that. Cool. Now my project I want to do is get one of those low RPM generator heads and put on the back right here because they're wound different. They're like five, six hundred RPM. I want to try that. I've seen people do lawn mowers or boat motors or whatever. I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, go karts. Who knows? Maybe you can put one on a PTO for like a log splitter. I mean that would be cool. It, it, <laughs> it's endless. But I've done a I like these motors so much, and if you hook them up with the star configuration with this controller and get one of these battery packs, whatever you got, oh my goodness. You got something pretty cool that you could do who knows what with. So I did a link on a website, and that's kind of new to me, Equid or something, but it was that's a video in and of itself, but I'm, I've sourced these parts out of China. So somewhere where I could find, you know stuff but it, and then i did a link to amazon too and i sourced them through there so you, you could find it that way as well but i think if i get these into people's hands any way possible then who knows what they could do with it anyways good luck on your hobbies or projects this thing would be pretty cool i hurt my finger bad on a whole side note too um just look for the website that has a really messy desk no, that, that's the one that's mine.